Today I'm going to be doing a huge upgrade to my coop, which is a roll away nest box. This is going to save me a ton of time and make it a lot more comfortable for my girls so that they lay all their eggs inside of their box. I've been having issues where they're trying to lay, you know, out here since they do 100% free range over many acres of property. So I chose to go with Hen Gear because I believe that they are the best company making these nest boxes because they were developed by the same family as Seven Sons Farm, which is a regenerative farm and they have thousands of layer chickens, so it was developed for their own farm and now we get to benefit from all of their expertise. Uh, these are made out of aluminum, so they will be rust free and last for a ton of ton of years. So let's go ahead and get this together and then I'm going to show you how I'll customize my custom coop in order for it to fit. So the first thing that I did was just get out the different sockets that they recommend for the bolts that I'm going to have to put together. And then I laid out the metal pieces and separated them to get myself a little more organized so we can put this together real quick. This is the corner piece. Here's how it looks. There's two holes here three here. So when you put this on, the nut is on the inside where these flanges are. The outside is where the bolt will be. Then you'll put the smaller tubing side up, put it in, and it's going to rest against this. So this is tray number 12 and it has two holes here which will line up with this and it has a hole on the bottom which will line up with this one down here. I'm just going to shove it in through the back. Now we're going to take our 3 16th bolts and nuts and throw those on. So once you've got the egg collection tray part built, now you need to make the decision, will you do a front rollout or a rear rollout nest box? Where you'll collect the eggs is at the front, the roost sits on top and then it rotates down. Or you can have it so that the roost is right in front of where they will enter the eggs and then you'll be collecting the eggs on the back side. This is what I'll be doing so that I can have the eggs collected on the back side of my coop. When you have the type of coop where uh, it's on the inside and you walk inside, that's typically when I see people doing the front rollouts. So everything is kept within the coop, nothing's on the outside. Um, but when you have a coop like mine set up, I can't walk inside of that thing, right? So it makes much more sense for me to set it up um, facing the outside so that I can get in there. Rain won't splash down and, and get inside of the nest box in between those red flaps. So now I'll just go forward in the directions to the rear rollout. So now I need pieces number one and two, pieces 18. And it's gonna be just like the egg collection tray we just built where you're gonna use the large 3 8 inch bolts. And we're gonna thread those in from the outside in this upper corner piece here. Thread this thing down all the way and then just do it by hand at the end. This just becomes the hinge essentially that sits inside of number 18 metal piece. You can go ahead and tighten this down further if you'd like, but I'm just gonna leave it finger tight. So now we'll just line up our hinge. So this panel is number 10. It has this single flange here. This piece of metal is gonna stick out towards the, towards the back. 316 nuts and bolts here my 3 8 inch driver and of course if you have a socket wrench you can use that and then there's going to be three of these for each side one underneath and then two on the back side here so we'll do everything finger tight first i'm going to go to the other side and and put this in first okay now that i've got those four in i'm just going to flip it up and i'm keeping all the nuts on the inside that way nothing's sticking out. Okay, so now we're going to attach piece number 13. This will slow down the eggs as they fall through. On the small and medium, you are not gonna have this extra spacer piece, but on the large and extra large, you will have this. Remember to make sure that this back piece is set up and leaning against the flanges here. The inside of this has a little piece of metal where they curled over the, the aluminum here. So that's how you know it's all flat on the back. So these opening flanges are gonna face towards you. If this is not wide enough, you need to just pull out the, the sides there and then it'll just go in. Next is our roof piece. And then grab pieces five and six. And these are gonna fit so that this flange that comes out is sticking up because our roosting bar is gonna go across this. Put the roosting bar on and these are now we're going to use the quarter inch carriage bolts here. So these you might have to um, kind of thread them through. On a carriage bolt, this little nut piece that's underneath the head of this will bite down into 
the roosting bar. So you just need to thread it through enough so you can start your um, nut on there. Tighten that on. And once it goes flush, stop. So this one's not locking as well, so I'm gonna get a pair of vice grips on it. I had to stop it from spinning. Now that it's in the wood, it'll go all the way. So now that we've built the nesting box, it's time to put on the auto roost. Now this is something that's an extra feature for the hen gear. Um, and it's something that I wanted just so that it makes it more automated. So I like to go collect my eggs um, at dark, right when the, the sun's going down. And at that time, you're gonna put your roosting bar up so that your chickens can't go inside of here and sit and sleep inside of the nesting box all night. You don't want them to be pooping in there or hanging out there. They should be on their roosts. Okay, so that's where this thing comes in. This will automatically release this roosting bar in the morning. And there's a timer on the inside that will set in a little bit. So if you have AC power near your house, you can hook this up directly. There's nothing else required. You just set up the timer. I don't have power, so I got the solar panel kit to power all of this. So something you might wanna do is just wait and see, do your chickens go in here? Eventually some of them will, or you may have a broody chicken, which in that case, you might wanna let them sit in here so that they can hatch out your eggs for you. But ultimately, this will all work out the best. You'll have to do less cleaning if you put the roosting bars up at night, lower them in the morning so that they can go inside to lay their eggs. First, I'm just gonna loosen these hinges a little bit, and now it'll release a lot easier. So this will be sitting here, this will be sitting here. In the morning, the timer will release the magnet. This will pull away and fall down. So flush up against this side and then flush with the bottom. Careful not to overdrive the screw and strip out the hole. So you wanna make sure that the spring splits the hinge here right down the middle. Make sure this part of the spring is over. And if you do it a few times, you can tell that it's not gonna come off. So now we need to prepare this. We're not gonna be using the AC, so we'll just take that off. And then we're gonna remove these two screws. Now we're just gonna remove the cover. And now we're gonna put our screws that we just took out of our nest box into these holes. And then you might need to just push it through. And I just need to remove this little lock nut here. And there's a bunch of washers here, and this is gonna help us create the perfect level so that the magnets uh, will match up perfectly here. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall these screws back in place. And I'm just gonna loosely put this one on. That way if I need to adjust this bottom piece at all, I can. So what we're trying to do is have this be in the center of the magnet, and this surface should be flush with the magnet. And right now, there's a bit of a gap up top. So if I slide this over, okay. So that's as far over as I can go. So I'll tighten this one down to lock that in place. I'm not gonna use any washers, I think, on mine. As I go up, I can see a bit of gap at the bottom. So I'm gonna back off a little bit. That's about perfect right there. So this is already pre-programmed here and it will, the magnet will go off at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you hit the program mode, it says on at four. And then if you press, it'll go off at 01. And the reason for that is so that you don't burn up the motor. So it just goes on off within one second. So if you were to mess with this, be sure that there is a difference of one second between your program one on and program two off. I'm gonna change it actually to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's gonna be a better time. I don't wanna have it be two hours before daylight and just you know wake them up and scare them. So I'm gonna do it closer to a time where it gets light for most of the year. So we're gonna to go to six, and that's for one on. I'll press the program again. I'll hit H plus, six, and we still have our one second. So I just changed the hours, nothing else. 
and this is running every day of the week. If I want to change the clock time, I can hold down the clock button here, and then I can change hour, minute, second, day. If I want to change program, I just click the program, and I go in and I can change everything. Okay, now that we've got everything totally set, we can go ahead and install the cover back on. Okay, now we just got to go set up our solar panel. Now we're going to put in the bottom cage here, and the back 90 is going to go where the eggs are laid. Make sure that you're installing this before you put in the front C bracket if you have a large or extra large. And it's going to go in between the two metal pieces. It'll sit on top. We're going to take this C bracket now and install it behind the curtain and the open side will face towards the back. Now in the smaller coops, you're not going to have this, but the large and extra large, you will have this. And then your nesting pad goes right on top of that. When you go to get your eggs, you'll just pull the lock off. This pushes forward. So if you need to access the nesting pad or there's a chicken being broody sitting in here that you don't want there, you can push them out. So you will come uh, late afternoon, evening to get your eggs, you'll collect them, and then you will reset the nesting bar, which is right here. You'll pull it up, stick it to the magnet, or if you don't have the auto roost bar, um, then you'll just pull it up. And then you just close and lock everything for the night. So for customizing my coop, I need to cut a hole out for this thing. I need to be able to reach in. So I'll cut the coop out up until right here so the, the wood will match up with that line, which is 19 inches. So I'll be cutting 19 inches high, 54 and a quarter inch wide. It's gonna be sitting in the back here. I've measured in a foot from each side so that 54 inches fits right in the middle. So now I'm gonna take a drill bit like this, drill two holes on each side, and then I will just cut completely across. And then from that measurement, I'll measure up 19 inches. We'll make a line across and then cut down. And that's gonna give us our little uh, box that we need. I'm gonna cut it, you know, as close as I can to the exact size, but I will aim for it being slightly smaller because I can always cut out a little bit more at a time because I want this to fit as snugly as it possibly can. Because I'm building this after the fact, a little bit harder to get it to fit perfectly. Now I just need to put the hangers on here. So now the brackets hang on the inside underneath right here. And then we'll just bolt in to this and it'll hold it against. We'll plug the extension cable into the 12 volt outlets all the way in. And then we're gonna run this cable inside to the auto roost. And then you wanna twist it to lock it so it can't be pulled out. And then I'll just take the cable and sort of hide it back there. If you'd like to get a Hengear nest box or anything from Hengear, use the code NATURE15 and that'll give you $15 off on your purchase. And if you wanna learn a lot more about raising chickens, the nitty gritty and really advanced stuff like Korean natural farming, go to naturesalwaysright.com or check the link down below to take my natural chicken raising course.